Stampers, this is Kathleen with KathleenStamps.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel and today's video. The card that I'm going to show you how I make is this really cute Celebrate You card. And you will um, you can see all of the little design details that I've done with the little black stitching and punching out the flowers. And then um, coloring them in with the yellow and adding a little glitter to them. And then on the inside, I just stamped one of the flowers in the corner and trimmed around it to make a little detail for the corner of the card. So let me show you how I made it. The first thing that we're going to need is a piece of basic black cardstock, and this is five and a half by eight and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. Then I have a piece that is five and a half by four and a quarter. And this particular piece I've embossed with the Stylish Stripes embossing folder by Stampin' Up. And so I've already run that through the embossing folder. Then I used um, a piece of Whisper White that is five by three and three quarters. And I'll be using that for the inside of the card. And then I have another that's just a scrap that I'm going to be using to stamp my flowers. So the products that we're going to be using is the Birthday Blossom Stamp Set from Stampin' Up. I'm going to be using the Pansy Punch, the Black Stampin' Write Marker, the Stink Signo <laughs> White Gel Pen, I'm using the Daffodil Delight marker, some Tombow Multi glue, and um, I'll be stamping in the Stays On black, uh, Jet Black stamp pad. And the reason I'm using this is because when I've stamped, I'm going to be going over the inside with my Daffodil Delight marker and I don't want the black to smear or I don't want my marker to pick up the black and so by using the stays on that won't happen and then I'm using a Versamark pad to do my embossing which you'll find up here in the corner so let's get started so I've already taken my cardstock and scored it at four and a quarter and in the upper right hand corner I stamped the Celebrate You stamp with the um, with the Versamark and embossed it with white embossing powder and I've just previously done that. Now I'm going to be taking the uh, piece of cardstock that I have embossed with the Stylish Stripes embossing folder and we're going to take that and we're going to cut it in half so it just goes from corner to corner so all you're going to do is on your cutter let me pull out a little bit and you'll be able to see this is the cut line on my cutter and I'm just going to put one corner in the cut line and the bottom corner in the cut line hold it down tight and then cut it with my trimmer and now I have the piece that I will be using on the front of the card. So you can see the embossing that I've got on that. So I'm going to take this piece and I'm just going to go ahead and adhere it to my card. And I'm choosing to use the Tombow glue. I'm finding myself using this more than any other glue lately because of the fact that you can, it has a little what I call slip time. So I'm able to um, move this paper around a little bit before it's actually settled in and it gives me that move time helps me to get everything centered exactly or on my card exactly the way I want it because sometimes I have difficulty with getting it to lay down properly. So now that's all done on the front of our card. Now I'm going to take my scrap paper and I'm going to stamp my uh, pansy stamp or my flower stamp using the stays on ink. And if you look at the back of my stamp, you're going to notice 
that I have this real little red dot. That little red dot corresponds with the dot on my punch. So I know that if my stamp is going, if I have this down and when I go to punch it, it will always match to my punch. And how I determined where to put the stamp or to put the spot initially is if you look at the front of your of your cover of your stamp set, this exactly coordinates with how the punch is lined up. So all you need to do when you're looking at your stamp is to determine which piece of your stamp matches this. And if you look here, you can tell this one's more easy to line up because of the lines. And you can tell all these lines are this part of the stamp right here. So I just turned it over and put a dot on this petal. And now I know that when I punch it out, everything will line up perfectly. So I hope that little tip will help you. Sometimes it's hard to get things to line up. So I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this on my paper. And I'm going to need three of them. Okay, and while I'm at it, I'm also going to take my inside piece and I'm going to stamp it down the um, flower down in this corner so that I'll be able to cut around it and have it make a really cute image on my on the paper. So I'm just going to make sure that the stamp hangs off the edges just a little bit. And so now I'll be able to trim around it and it will just look really cute. So that's all of the stamping that we need to be doing. So now I'm going to go ahead and on this piece, now you can see what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim right around here. And every time you do this, it's going to come out a little differently. Sometimes you'll get more of an image and sometimes you'll get less. So every one of them just, it will just vary. There's, you're not doing anything wrong when, no matter how they vary. Okay, so now this will be what my inside will look like. And you can see it's going to fit right here. And because it's cut out, it just gives it a really nice look. So we can go ahead and glue this down to the inside. Just like that. Okay, so now the only other thing that needs to be done to the inside portion is to uh, color in the center of the flower. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and we'll work on the flowers that we're going to put across here on the front of the card. So what we're going to do is we'll just go ahead and punch these out. And you can see how, um, because I took the care to stamp with the one with the red dot down on the bottom, it will line up with the red dot on my punch, and you'll get a perfect flower punch out every time. And this way of lining things up works for all of the stamping up products. If you compare it to the stamp set, that it matches the stamp, the um, index label, this one, always lines up exactly the way the punch is, and so it makes it really easy to, uh, to punch out those designs. Just get this one. And we're all done. So what I'm going to do now with these is I'm going to color in the centers with my marker, just like we did on the 
inside. Okay. Now one thing I wanted to remind you of when I went ahead and did my embossing, um, I was made certain that I used our embossing buddy to rub over the surface first because um, otherwise the powder will just stick every place you don't want it. So it's really important that you use that. So now all we're going to do is glue these on. Let me grab my dimensionals. Okay, so we're just going to put a couple dimensionals on the back of each one of these. And I put my one in the middle first. I can see that the battery on my camera is just about to shut off. So the only other thing that I did is I went around the edges with my marker to achieve the lines on the edges. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you've enjoyed this card and that you will go ahead and make it on your own. Um, if you like the video, please go ahead and click the thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. And if you want any information about the cards, you can always go out to my website at KathleenStamps.com. Thank you so much for stopping by.